Hello everyone, praise good and welcome back to more King of Cards! Last time, treasure, treasure knight, treasure knight and cards, treasure! And this time I would like to have more treasure, please. My coffers, they know no limits. I mean, if this is the present, I like presents. I do appreciate presents of all kinds, shapes, and forms. Also, if that was supposed to be a challenge, it was not. <laughs> I probably got to cram that in the last episode, couldn't I? My bad. Listen, it's been a while since I played and I don't remember everything. Anyway, let's let's just go and visit the Explodatorium. Ah, now we have the return of the green pipes, which have made which have made themselves very apparent of how terrible they are to uh, living. Oh god. Basically, they work kind of like how it did with uh, Spectre... Spectre Knight a little bit, where bashing into a green pipe doesn't let you do the twirl after you hit it. Anyway. Hey look, corks. How the corks work like that, I don't know. So yeah, the, the, this is actually more... The uh, Plague Knight area is more of a puzzly area than anything. You basically have to find a way to bash into bash into the the pipes. You have to find a way to bash into the pipes so you can uncork something so you can get some additional rewards or get other things. Like right here, I'm going to do what they call a bad move. Yeah, cuz I didn't even see that there. Sorry, Fleeto. Yeah, it's like I said, a little bit of a puzzle mechanic. Oh boy. Okay, at least I can jump up high enough to hit it. Haha! -ha. I didn't panic, you panicked. Okay, I panicked a little bit. And now we just wait for the cork to go back. Like this is a this is a cool concept they introduced, but it is of course the most insufferable one of you know the most insufferable mechanic of moving platforms. Sure, we'll run with that. Anyway. Also, they're smart. Unlike me, they're smart with it. They're smart in how they space things out so you can actually land safely on everything. Man, I am so glad that like all the music returns in this. Okay, have fun down there, buddy. Uh... Oh, that was it. You know, this is awkward for everybody involved at this point. <laughs> well, I'm going up and over, thank you very much. This is not the way forward, obviously, but I mean, I'm doing it anyway. Oh. I see I've made a mistake this day. Uh, Mimic, can you come over here? Thanks. I'm surprised I didn't throw Mimic down a pick. I have to, I have to like watch my words and say Mimic instead of instead of Mimic, just because of his name. Whoa! Hey, I'm the only one that's around to pounce and trounce and bounce and flounce and fun, 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 fun. The so wonderful thing about King Knight is I might be the only one. Yes, that was a Winnie the Pooh reference for all three of you that caught that. Listen, I can't. I. You can laugh at me all you want. But when you got nephews, you just you just pick up on this stuff, man. It just it just happens. Oh right. Pipe here. Bottle here. No. Alright, cool. Okay, later. Have fun down there. <laughs> God. Such a cool concept. God, I love it. God, it's awesome. Can I sing this game's praises even more? Probably. Enchanted, which beckons the return. Re oh. Oh. 
I'm surprised the King of Pridemore is actually rolling along with all this. To be a man, you say. Were you wearing my spare crown? If you seek victory, the Chapel King is far less tolerant of disrespect than I. Uh... Please. The f please don't. Stay away from her! Okay. Well... They're just making advances on each other at this point. Now, I don't think there is much else I can do in this area. Again, I got every now and again, I'm just going to take a quick perusal, see if there's any new faces that show up. But I think at this point, something I actually probably could have done last episode when I got the uh, sword, we'll call it, is I could have finally gone back to the house and handled some unfinished business there. Yep, looks like we're all handled on the ship. Doe, you got any words of wisdom? Nope. Later. Yes, I just walked off. Actually, I should have talked to Doe. I, uh, might be dumb. Oh, maybe. Well, we can use this as an excuse to branch off. Hello, Plague Knight. How's it going? Ah, uh, you made doubly sure of this. Uh, you've seen. You've even seen. <laughs> wow. What would use the open door? Percy, did you remember to lock the door? What's a door? So here's the fun thing. As much as we've seen Percy constantly since Plague Knight's story, we actually fight Percy! And Percy's fight is a little... It's not hard, but it's a little strange, considering he walks around with the big bomb that Plague Knight has. Get off your perch. Don't kick me! I realize you're a horse, and that's like your... Your big thing... Hello? Oh. Yeah, by the way, he can use some of Plague Knight's tools. I mean, he is... He is Plague Knight's apprentice. Oh. Hi, Plague Knight. How's it going? Let's say we actually fight Plague Knight proper. How's it going, Plaguey boy? And then he transforms the floor in explosives, and it actually works a bit like the fight against the, uh... This fight works a bit like the, uh, fight against the, uh, unstable concoction in Plague Knight's story. Or the fight before the final boss fight, rather. Where the slow... The floor will slowly rise up over time as Plague Knight destroys it. I wasted it. Okay, that's the fake. I've used up all my vigor trying to chase him down. I chased this one. That's the fake one. Have fun, Percy. You're going down, buddy. You know, I'm losing myself in the madness. Come here. Take your lump. Take your lumps. I said take your lumps. Now then, can I have two lumps of sugar for that for that act? More like two lumps on my head. Well with that all done, let's head let's head it back onto the ship. And well the event happened. An event happened where we went to his level where somebody can be associated with it, so we have activated a, a a round of Joustus or two. Don't worry, I have more things I'm going to try and remember to do. But hey, look, there's Plague Knight. Hey, Plague Knight, do you know Mona's up there? Are you aware that Mona's just chilling up there right now? He must. Aw, bashful. So let's play some Justice. Oh. 
Well then, you have the first move, I have good man, I hope. Why would you do this? I can't do anything. Well, all I'm gonna do is be a bother, so let me just sit over here. Now, you have indeed made a move. I thank you for this. Oh! <laughs> well, that was... That's embarrassing. Um... Let me just... You know, I will just come back to you after I, uh... Yeah. So if I did my math right, yep, okay, that's just a victory. It's not a gem sweep, but it is a victory. And he took my Blazar for me, I'm not too worried about it. So I get my... We'll take Percy. I have claimed one Percy. Fantastic. Good duo, Plague Knight. Now let me check. I want to say... I want to say Percy also shows up? No. Let me just keep doing this to make sure. Let's see... Phantom Striker, Treasure Knight. No, I guess it's just Plague Knight. That or I'm unlucky. Da, 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 da. Anyway, let's buy some armor while we're here. I have I keep speaking through this through these exchanges, and I am sorry. So let's go through the vestments of vigor. Basically, it's a basically it's discount it's discount vigor use. I forgot you could spin the globe. Anyway, discount discount bigger use. I think it's it activates when you hit something. I could probably read the description here in a second. Let me read the description here. Ah, yep. So when you damage enemies, you get bigger back. So it's a refund system. Anyway, with that all done, I want to actually talk to Doe. Doe? Oh, you have more story? Oh, you don't have more story. Okay. So hey, I need to go back to the Pride More area. Because I need to do something at home. See, now that we have the sword, we can use it to come up here. And I believe this area is regarded as King Knight's room. With all of his rat subjects. And Dad. I'm bouncing on the bed. Looking regal, my good man. Wait. Oh! I'm sorry, what? I wasn't aware you could play Justice against yourself or a second player. This might be the ones that I missed. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it. This is probably a bad idea. But I'm going to do this, and I will kick my own butt. Actually, let's not do that. Let's do this one. Oh, it is two-player? Well, then I can just... I could literally just win against myself, then, couldn't I? Huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, so let's just make it a quick, uh... Let's just make this quick. I didn't I didn't know you could do this as I proceed to fluff up the placement. Huh, so there's a two-player mode in this. Neat. Okay, so that's just interesting. Interesting that you can play against yourself. I wasn't aware of that feature. Anyway. We saw this little preview down here, so there are a couple of treasure chests in here that you can get yourself into. For money. And... Card. 
Which... Yep. I've been waiting for this card. The mom card, I, I feel, is a really underrated card. But wait, the weird the line looks weird here. What ho? Another card, you say? Why not yourself? So yes, you can add yourself to the deck. I am very slam heavy. Eh, whatever. I don't know. I think it's kind of neat that you can basically add yourself to the game. That you can add yourself into your hand. And there are, um... There are cards for basically every denizen of the Shovel Knight lore, mythos, whatever you want to say. So it was worth it to come back to the, come back to the house to get those. And that's really all it is. I can't exit the screen. Can I not exit the screen? I thought I could. Well, that's my fault then. So yeah, it was worth it to come back to the house just to have that happen. But after, but with that, let's head back to the Pondle. The Pondle of Tropple. We'll call it the Pondle of Tropples. Anyway. Hey Doe, I need a, I need a, I need a ride back over to the other place. And with that, let's head up to that upper area so we can keep on going through the Exploratorium, you say. With a secret exit, you say. Well, don't mind if I do. You're gonna mind if I do, but don't mind if I do. Uh, go ahead and jump in the water. Thanks. Alright, cool. I'm like panicking really hard trying to big brain this one. Ah, I've been I've been grenaded. I've been grenaded again. How dest. I want to say that this that this level gave me a little trouble finding all of the merit medals. It was either this it was either all of the merit medals or the secret uh It was either all the merit medals or the secret exit. I me I vividly remember having to come to this stage multiple times. Probably cuz I wasn't paying attention the whole time. Hi. Man, you fly about as far as your quartermaster will say. We'll call it, Is he a court is would Plague Knight be the quartermaster or is it something else? I don't know. I don't know fancy words. Anyway. But there's that abomination up there. I think I remember dying this thing a lot. Of oh right, cuz it has a problem with staying out of the way. But yeah, the you can defeat it by charging its back, or... I think there is a way to get... Uh, if you can jump into the middle of it, or to spin into the middle of it, you can split it up. You can, or yeah, you can split the creature up anyway. Okay, now, no, I can't go over that. Ah, oh, I remember. That's why I missed it. So, the secret exit is on this screen. No fooling. It's on this screen. Now you might be thinking, why is it on this screen? There's no way it's on this screen. They played a bit of a dirty trick. Because they would think, oh, you would never, ch they teach you, never charge a pipe. Except this time, charge a pipe. Alright, break my fall. Later. Break my fall, peasants. Actually, this is a bad idea to do this here. Oh man, the greed, the greed is real. Now why did I have so much trouble with this area? I don't remember anymore. Or at least finding it rather. Okay, I'm not that greedy. Oh, right, because of those things. That's why I, that's why I have so much problem with Zarya. Because those things are like, nah, I'm gonna bite your kneecaps. Your kneecaps look delicious. I'm eating them. I thought I saw a slime pop up in the lower right corner when I did my dash. Maybe I did. Anyway, I'm just gonna go fast across the land because I can now. I've collected most of the treasure up to this point. Hello, friend. Sorry, Blorb. I should use the official name. Oh. Right. And we're gonna jump off here. Yeah, perilous platforming, eh? 
And we're gonna get this, bounce off him, and do that. The greed is real, man. Oh, I got him. I got him with the spark, hell yeah! Okay, come a little closer. Come a little closer. Come a little closer up here. And we're done here. Man, Secret Eggs has put me on edge. So that we, had, uh, we now have access to that chest up there, but there is still the normal exit. So let's go ahead and take care of the normal exit before we call things a day here. No one saw that. Alright, right back at the split again. Flawlessly executed, I know. Oh, right, these guys jump, don't they? Well, not anymore. Okay, no, I remember. I remember very vividly now. It was the secret exit that get, that racked my brain, and subsequently a mirror metal because the mirror metal isn't that secret, secret section. You know what? I don't care about you anymore. Yeah, this section also sucks because you have to fight against water all the way up, and it's still all pipes, baby. So you can't charge into them to get a like a little extra leg up boost. You have to play the platforming game. By the way, the platforming game is bad. Don't play it. I'm joking. Uh. Right, especially when this guy's involved. Please don't. Uh. Totally cheesed it, by the by. The by. That was not supposed to happen. Could you tell? Oh, I'm ex Okay, I'm supposed to charge it off the wall to get up. I like how I was dash dancing a little bit, and then suddenly I goofed it. Nope, nothing up there. Good. I wonder. Hold on. Oh, yep, you can't go above. I don't know why I remember this being a thing, but it's a thing. Anyway, I don't want to be up there. But this is supposed to teach you that you can bash the pipes back there, so... Kind of a triple triple go-back level, if that, if that were a thing. Hello, slime. Bye, slime. God damn it. Have I mentioned I love the music in this game? Can't kill what's not there. Thanks for your five monies. I'm leaving. Well, with that, I think we're good here for today. So, everybody, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of King of Cards. And come back next time when I'll try and work the map in such a way where we kind of close in, close in around where the Tropical King is. I'll see you folks next time. Take care.